welcome back to Contemporary Dance Unsanitized. Today and the rest of this week, we are going to be having slightly shorter classes, uh, in part because I am going to be going back officially to work next week, woo from home, of course. Uh, so that means I have a lot more planning and prep that I need to do for my actual paying job. So uh, to make sure that I am adequately offering things to you guys and making sure I have stuff set up for my 130-ish students, um, I need to make sure I have that time. So consider these classes kind of a short extension, but if you're finding them to be too short, you can always bop back into our other sets of classes that we did over the past two weeks and try those out. Um, as always, we have our lovely shirt on display, which again, it's hard to see, is navy blue and not black like my t-shirt or long sleeve shirt. So if you would like to get one of those after witnessing and experiencing our awesome class today, you can just shoot me a message. Uh, so we have three little exercises today and we are emphasizing moving in and out of the floor. But of course, to do that, we have to start with an adequate warm up. So I'm going to kind of face at an angle so you can see what my spine is doing throughout this process. We are starting on the floor and we are going to start in our butterfly position. If you are one of those lucky people with super flexible hips, good for you and I hate you. Feel my hate, wrath coming at you. But I did a lot of sports when I was a kid and I'm convinced that is what made my hips ultra, ultra tight or genetics, who knows. Okay, either way, we are sitting tall. We start, our hands come out one, two, roll down three, four. So the arms coming out is really more just an expression of trying to lengthen and stabilize through our core. And then we roll down, head first, whoop, roll down. We bounce it out here, five, six, seven, Eight, one, two, three, four. This music's in three, four, so you're technically bouncing one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Okay, so we have um, eight times three, 24 bounces. 24 bounces, then we lengthen the spine, lengthen the arms, bring it up, arms come down. Now, from here, we're focusing on, again, this kind of twisting through the spine, but the head is leading. So I'm twisting to my right, hands come into the floor as I lengthen and look back. Then, contracting from my abdominals, it brings me back up into the floor. So I re-stack that spine to go the other way. Lengthen, in, heads up. Again, down, and in, and down, and in. Okay, so we've got four of those. So, we went from the front, one, two, rounding, three, four, bounce it out, five, six, Seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Lengthen, five, up, six. Seven, two, three, eight, two, three. Drop them down. We snake it one, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're up to center again. Again, I'm going to find length and strength in the abs. As my legs shoot forward, arms come out. I want my ankles to be together. Again, I'm going to show this in the diagonal. So I've got one, Two, roll down, three, four, bounce it out, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Lengthen, five, arm, six, seven, and down, eight. Same process of snaking through my spine, but I am returning to this straight leg position. So snake it, and up. So here, I have to think of my hip pushing back down into the floor. And that hip is what lifts me up through my center to go to the other side. And back up. 
So if you notice my head, it drops, gets really close to the floor, and then it kind of lengthens up a, bit, like, a little bit out of that. Then it comes back down, cheek almost to the floor. So my head is heavy, head is heavy, head is heavy. Four of those. Then from there, lengthening tall, one, two, round it forward, and we want to keep our arms just touching above our shins. Three, four. This one is the hardest because we don't want to dump forward in our legs. We want to keep our legs pointing up. If it's easier, you can flex your feet to make sure they are pointing toward the ceiling and not forward to wherever your head is in front of you. So rounding forward, bounce. These are going to be very small bounces. It's going to use a lot of your leg muscle to stabilize and your core. Remember, you want to be rounding through the bottom, not just the top, but the bottom part as well is engaged. So, we've opened, our right, hang on, one, two, rounding, three, four, bounce it out, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, keep bouncing, lengthen, five, again, feet still up, I'm not allowing that to rotate forward, arm six, seven, eight. Same thing here, snake. My legs are going to come closer together this time, but they're still going to stay separated. And back up, and I find that straddle. So we go four times there. Now, here's the funky one. We go right and left and right and left. Now I'm going to take it in a circle. I'm going to go down. It's hand, elbow, shoulder into the floor. And when I come back up, it reverses that elbow, hand, off. Hand, elbow, shoulder, elbow, hand, off. Okay? So I'm going around, hand, elbow, shoulder, big circle around through my X. Keep curving, it's here that I curve onto that elbow, hand. Keep going around, I'm going to swing. So what that looks like from the front, I'm going all the way around, whoop. I'm not lifting up through here. I'm still flat in my straddle. This is not um, a flexible straddle. It's a functional one. So we're not trying to stretch our legs as much as possible. We're trying to find stability in a high seated position. So I'm curving. Then I reverse it around. Hand, elbow, shoulder, through my X. Elbow, hand, keep going, swing. So we'll do that four times. They're a little fast, so go ahead, give them a couple rounds. From here, swing, hand, elbow, shoulder, open. Oh my god, Ooh, I thought that was a person. You guys, I am such a scary, scary, scary cat. I thought Joe was trying to scare me when he's working in the office, and it's just my shirt. I'm telling you, this virus is getting to all of us. So let's try that again without me having random panic attacks about shirts that I hung up myself. Hand, elbow, shoulder, around to the elbow, hand, keep going, swing. You can put the hand behind, in front of, or on, totally up to you. And then we go back, hand, elbow, shoulder, opening at the back, elbow, hand, keep pushing. Whoop. From here, after we do four of those, we're going to keep going around. I'm going to curl the legs into an S sit. And I am just, I'm going on my elbow, and I'm lengthening, extending through my spine. So I'm finding more of an arched position. Not a hyper extreme arch, just a lengthen one. So lengthen arch, curl back through straddle, find the F sit, lengthen onto that elbow, and around. We do four of these, extend. And around and extend. Then, last but not least, we take it a little higher. I go onto my hand this time, up onto that knee, lengthen back down, up onto that knee, lengthen back down, up onto the knee, lengthen back down, up onto the knee, lengthen back down. So we're moving further and further out of the floor as we go. Let's give it a try. It's nice and slow, with the exception of at the end, we do want a little more swinging and free energy. Seven, 
your rounding through those lower abdominals.
Top priority is always staying hydrated, so keep your hydration with you, and also keep away anything that you have built that might look like a person, so when you're lying on the floor, you do not give yourself a panic attack. Things that I think exclusively I am good at, but you never know. So for those of you that are like me, very skittish beings, good advice during this pandemic. Okay, so um, now that we've kind of worked through the floor a little bit, woken our spine up, and some initiation of kind of rolling into the floor and reversing out of it, we are going to work on how to go from standing into the floor. This is a slightly longer exercise and does involve some reverse along the right and the left, but um, it's nice and slinky and fun. So we're going to start in our parallel. I'm going to show this kind of from a diagonal as well. In parallel, we're going to bring our arms up, and we're going to do three a kind of progression of drop swings. So every time we drop swing, um, I get a lot of people that, here's what it is to begin with. Now, I get a lot of people that try and do this with their legs where they go, bend straight, bend straight. It's not. It's a bounce, bounce, up, a bounce, bounce, up. We go a bounce, bounce, up. Bounce and bounce and up. So there's no straightening in the middle. Bend and bend and straight. Bend and bend and straight. So watch your knees, because if your knees are not doing the right thing, neither is your back and spine. In which case, purpose defeated. So we're here. We start, the head is what leads it down, rounding through the spine. Now bounce, round it up. Then we make it a little harder, we add an elevate. Round, elevate, round, up. Then we add a jump. Jump, and up. So that's our progression. Flat foot, add an elevate, add a jump. And every time, head takes it down, head is the last thing up. So just being mindful of your positioning of your head. Now, after that third one, because we go one, two, three, four, five, oops, sorry, I jumped too early. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, we're arching down. Five, six. Now, the first time I'm on my right, so I'm going to bend my left leg, reach my right arm to come up seven, eight. On the left side, it'll be the same thing, but left arm. So, we went, melting down, five, six, seven, eight. And it's about that fast, so you've got time to really work through the move. From here, I'm going to go for a side curve. So this right arm that's up is opening. My ear is going toward that shoulder, but the shoulder again is dropping down too, so they should never reach each other, because that's ugly. So. As I do that, I'm working on stepping out with that leg. I'm going to step on it and twist. When I twist, we're finding our contraction. Twist and ah. So here I've twisted this way in a contraction. Now I'm spiraling the other direction and I'm in a tendu behind me. So I'm going to have to slide that leg back out to twist down. Knee to the floor, hand to the floor. That leg is that leg in front, I'm going to sink into this hip and sink down toward the floor to make a giant rond de jambe with that leg. So, we went one, two, three, and a four, five, six, seven, eight. So again, first time is just a twist. Second time is a twist going all the way down. I'm going to whoosh that leg around. And once it turns me to face this way, I start to flip through my legs into an S sit. This part should seem familiar. Hand, elbow, shoulder, around. This time I'm not keeping the legs straight. I'm going through the toes. Whoop. Tuck in my right arm to push 
out of the elbow, out of the hand. Okay? And from here, I'm coming up. So after I get done pushing out of that hand, whoop, I finish my spiral. So, and we landed here. One, two, three, four. I'm going to put my right hand into the floor and my left foot is going to come forward. My left arm is going to do a big swing. Okay, while I do that, I'm going to push this leg on the bottom through so that I can kind of slide on my thigh, hip, butt. So I'm doing a slide. So think of this as wind it up, step, slide. I step again. That arm has done a complete circle, which allows me to go again. And I could really just do these over and over and over and over if I wanted to. But after that second one, so actually let's backtrack here. We rewound, hand step, slide, and slide. Legs come out, so I'm sitting this way. This next part should feel very familiar. From here, just snake it down. But instead of snaking it back up to sit, I'm going to spin on my butt to face the opposite direction. Okay, if you're having trouble with right versus left, I think about it as I've come around twice, whoop, whoop, sit. Now I want to snake toward the front. Each time you're going to be going toward the front. Snake toward the front, spin around. So it involves more of a contraction here. Snake, and this time I'm going to keep rolling. So I tuck my legs. In fact, I'm going to scoot back a little bit. Okay. So, second time I snake, keep rolling, tuck the legs, keep going, keep going, keep going, to sit facing front. We're almost done with this and we'll go back through for counts. From here, I'm going to straighten my legs and contract my body to bring me down into the floor. So think of from here, look at the belly button, carry it down, then shoulder roll, I'll show you from an angle, I need to bring my legs up over my right shoulder because it's right side. I'm going to tuck my toes, plant the hands, and then rounding, rolling up to stand, arms come up, but I'd be facing front, so you can guess what we go into after that, we're back at our beginning. So let's walk through that on the right with counts, and then we'll go through it on the left right after also with those same counts, and do it for real. So, facing front, we go a one, two, three, four, add an elevate, six, seven, eight, add a jump, two, three, four, arch it down, six, right arm, seven, eight, curve it, one, two, three, twist, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, slide, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, around three, four, scooch and back, just for camera, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, over three, Four, bring it up, six, seven, eight. And then we'd start again. Sorry, I forgot to bring my arms up. We'd go one, two, three, four, add an elevate. Six, seven, eight, one, jump, two, three, four, arch, down, left arm, seven, eight, curve it, one, two, twist, three, four, Roll, right arm wrap, right leg wrap, six, seven, eight, hand of a shoulder, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, to the front always, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, 
contract first. One, two, three. Now turn it over left shoulder. Three, four, up, five, six, seven, eight. And then we just keep going right, left, right, left. Let's try it with some music, even if you don't have it perfectly. It's not very fast, so we should be able to keep up. You can always practice it later.
So um, think of this as almost like your reverence, it's like you're just saying thank you for coming to see me, but in a very modern dance sort of way. Um, it also focuses a little bit on how we move our feet through the floor, but we'll get there. So we're down, having moments, releasing that lower back, and we roll up. So when we roll up, we want to make sure that this doesn't happen. Watch my butt against my heels. I don't want to lift. I don't want to rock forward. In fact, I want to think of the pelvis tilting, and that's what takes my body up. So we come up. And this last thing up. Now from here, I'm taking out to the side again. Snake down. My right hand is going to slide. I'm going to my right. My left hand is going to catch. And my legs are going to straighten. So I'm just out on my side. From here, this arm is going to come forward, the one that's in front of me, the one that my head is currently resting on. I'm acting, I'm, doing, I'm moving into a pike position, like I got punched in the stomach. So my arms and legs are all piking forward. I'm rounding through my core. Now here's where it gets kind of funky. Whichever arm is on top is going to open and reach to the back of the room. Whichever leg is on the bottom is going to separate and move back where it was. So, we were here. Both arms and legs come forward. Top arm, bottom leg, separate. But the energy is still really in this top leg, the one that's reaching forward. I'm going to move back just to make sure you can see everything I'm doing. So from here, the arm that's back is going to circle down toward my butt while the other one circles up. So it's kind of like a big propeller on a plane. And as I do that, I'm going to pull through my leg. So it flips me over, and this arm comes around, so we're resting here. I may need to bring my legs a little closer together in the next move, but as I come up, I'm going to start reaching. Now, from here, in this little back stretch, I tuck my chin, round, 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 up to my downward dog. So we have a little momentary stretch here. This is the ultra, ultra funky part. It's not as weird as it seems, um, or it's not as weird as it sounds. It's going to sound and look kind of crazy, but doing it actually should feel fairly natural on the body because it's following natural energy lines through the body. So, backing up just to make sure we have it and before we get into more weird stuff, but it's almost over. It's the very last move, what we're going into. We roll up. We roll to the side. We pike it forward, bottom leg, top arm opens me, but this leg, the top leg that's reaching forward wins and pulls down. Head comes up as the hands come in, tuck the toes, chin the chest, roll up. From here, I'm going to think of reaching the front leg toward the back of the room. So I need to sneak it through and slide that leg while this arm reaches up. Now, from here, I'm going to place the side of the foot on the floor, lay down that leg, and fold myself back in. So it's almost like I'm going, oh. just by reaching, reaching, reaching through that leg, and then basically from its reaching position, it folds down into the floor so that it's on the side. I'll try and show it from the other angle. If I'm reaching my left leg through, I'm rotating, so this leg ends up bent, and I'm pushing really high, sliding that leg, then I set the foot down. Set the side of the foot down, set the side of the leg down, swoop this other leg in. And it's really important that top arm has to kind of go around. That's what helps propel your body into that position, aside from the actual leg reaching and unfolding. 
okay? You also have to let that weight release into the foot. If you're trying to keep your weight back because you're like, oh, my, my weight can't go into that leg, it can, and you have to let it. Otherwise, your weight's gonna be too far back and you're not gonna make it into that position. So, one more time. Here, sliding it through, reach, 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 and down into the floor. Much easier to do fast than slow, I promise you. But it's from here that we start again. Okay? So, let's try it on the left side. We roll up one, two, three, four, out, five, six, seven, eight, contract, one, two, stretch it, three, four, pull, five, six, seven, eight, head up, one, two, rounding, three, four, we're going to hold, five, six, seven, eight, my front leg reaches to the back. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you should be able to get there in four, and then you have five, six, seven, eight to either adjust if things don't go well, or to just release into that child's pose and let your lower back have a little bit of relaxation there. We're just gonna try it on the right and the left. Go for it, because it is quite slow. So even if you're not quite sure what the moves are, you should be able to follow along, listen to my guidance, uh, and we'll try it maybe twice on each side. And then we will let you go on with your day. Again, more lovely music from Michael Wall. If you don't know his stuff, uh, you should check out his website, Sound for Movement. But he is an awesome composer for dance in particular. So if you're a dance person, he's your dude. So let's start down. Five, six, actually let's hold another eight count. Keep holding. Five, six, seven, eight. Roll up.
a very wide variety. And later tonight, please join us for a guided improvisation. It will only take about 20 to 30 minutes to complete. Um, I'm going to be forcing Joe into doing it with me, so I will have a partner. And it does offer potential for partnered stuff if you have someone that you are living with, that you kind of quarantined in the same place with. Otherwise, you can do it alone as well. There are no limits to the way you go about this. It's entirely um, more of a movement meditative practice than uh, feeling the need to go big and bold on your improvisation. So we hope you guys join us for that. And if not, it'll always be available later on our YouTube channel. Thanks for joining. We'll see you tomorrow.